Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings everyone from North Olmsted, Ohio. We're out here on a nice weekend, a nice lovely weekend trip with my bean. With your bean? <laughs> <laughs> my little honey bean. That makes no sense. If a bean has honey in it, that, there's something really, really weird going on. Well, I don't on. want you to, I don't want to call you my baked bean because... That's a reference to being like... I was thinking more along the lines of the, the, the bedroom might stink later when I'm trying to go to bed. <laughs> well, it always stinks if you're in the room. Kidding, just kidding. Don't don't take it to heart. Don't don't take it to heart. Anyway, so we're I know we're just playing around. We're having a nice weekend trip out here, and uh, are we? I am. Are you? Yes. All right, then we're having a nice weekend trip out here. We did some rail fanning earlier today out at the Berea Depot, and we had dinner there last night. It was awesome, awesome dinner. A little pricey, but awesome food. Really like that place a lot. But anyway, we're here at this place called Baker Square, which apparently was what it basically says. It's uh, like a pie shop, a bakery, that kind of thing. And, you know, I didn't really know anything about this place and started, until I started researching it a little bit. And to my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, it closed January 25th, 2020, before the virus, and uh, they closed without warning, without telling their staff or anything, which is a really crappy thing to do. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, so I hate when companies do that. They, you go into work and just find out, oh, you're out of a job. Your income just, that's it, you're done. With no warning, nothing. And I think that's wrong. At least give them a little notice saying like, hey, we're going to be closing. You might want to look for another job. At least be courteous yeah. about it. Because but... most people that are mature won't be mm -hmm. stupid. They'll actually, you know, they won't do anything to wreck the business or whatever. Um, obviously, I'm not defending the situation. But mm -hmm. I have heard stories of like upper management of these restaurants don't even know that these places are closing until last minute. It's like, oh my God, we got to shut down. We're closing. Yeah, but it at stinks. the same time, it's like, how do you not know ahead of time? You know, I've never... I worked in restaurants, but I've never had to deal with that, so I can't say. Yeah, it sucks, though, regardless, and I don't want to see that happen. But anyway, we're going to check this place out. It has a unique shape to the building. At first, I thought it was maybe a Denny's or so, but anyway, let's hop out of the car and take a look at it. Here is Baker Square. It looked like a comfy and cozy little place. I can't imagine why they would close unless they just weren't doing so well. Or they had an emergency, but either way, I think it's kind of wrong to just not give your employees any notice at all. Windows are really dirty. Look at how comfy that looks in there, though. Okay, so it was more of a restaurant than a bakery. Someone said their pies were really good. Wow, what a heck of a restaurant. That's really sad that it closed. Looks like it could just reopen. Look at that. You got the little salt and peppers and sugars on each and every table. The chairs are all there. Some of the lights are still on. It's like it could open up for business today. Just bring the staff in and food and open it up. The glass isn't even that cold, so that tells me the heat is on inside. And yeah, I mean, it's like 50 degrees out here, and I'm out here in a t shirt right now because I'm a damn Yankee and I'm used to the cold, but. The glass should have been colder, especially since it was like 10 degrees last night. But yeah, we're sorry. This this location is permanently closed. Visit us at one of our nearby restaurants because life's just better with pie. So I guess it is a chain. Oh, what's this? Yeah, it is a chain. Nashville, Tennessee. If you want to read that. That's a really crappy thing to do, though. Just close without warning. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so you can see the whole thing.
Yeah, that's a really crappy thing to do. I hate when businesses do that, just like that Bob Evans in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We're closing, you're out of a job. Oh, thanks for the heads up, thanks. Now I have no income and I got bills to pay. You know, I got mouths to feed. But that, that's okay, you got your millions of dollars though, that's okay. As long as you're good. It's selfish is what it is. But this is such a comfortable looking place. I guess the chain just isn't doing so hot. And like I said, keep in mind, that was before the virus took over the world in 2020. Just, I mean, the flowers, I know they're fake, but it's just like, just open these doors and you're open for business. Here's your restrooms here, even though you can't really see much in there. I'm really glad I stopped here now. This is a really cool find, especially the inside of this place. Let me step back from the building a little bit so you can see the shape of this place. It's pretty cool. That's what I mean. It's definitely unique. Now we'll take a walk back here. It looked like it had a drive through too. And that's on the other side of the building because when we passed it, I saw it and I had to turn around in the Gordon food parking lot. I couldn't get over here from there. So I turned around and I saw what looked like a drive through window. It's amazing how much snow has melted since the last time we were in the Cleveland area, which was literally only a couple of weeks ago. As of when I'm filming this, now as to when you see this is a different story. But when I filmed this, or when I was up here and did the Dollar Tree, funny enough, there's a Dollar Tree on the other side of the Gordon Food Place. But when we did the Dollar Tree and Mentor, 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 however you say it, it was only about two weeks ago prior to the filming of this video. I guess I could have got into it from... No, I couldn't. This is all their lot here for Baker Square. And yes, this is their drive through here. See little footprints in the snow. <laughs> That's some serious icicles there stuck in the tree. Look at that. They broke off and they stuck in the tree. They melted and refreeze around the branches refroze refreezed i don't know i can't talk leave me alone <laughs> that's being silly gotta make fun of yourself i do it to myself all the time no shame yeah they, their registers are still on check this out let me try and get the light glare off It's still on. It's 2022 now. They close the place yet leave all the stuff on, half the lights, the heat. They don't even clear it out. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Of course, it makes it easy now. If someone buys this place or leases it, they can just move right in, open right up. It is a cool looking building. Take one last look inside here before we hit the road. Yeah, here's the doorway where you come in. There's our pie counter. There, I flipped the camera around so you can see more of the desk here. Best pies in America. Well, if it's so good, why'd you close then? Your waiting area to be seated. I don't know, it's just a shame. But tell me, you know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not, I don't know, but why does this resemble a Denny's to an extent? Can anybody clarify that for me? Was this a Denny's at one point? Was it not? I don't know. Was it something else? Of course, Denny's doesn't really have. Holy cow, that's really bright. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. But anyway, clarify it to me if this was a Denny's or not. I don't remember them having drive through windows, so maybe it wasn't, but still cool. 
Oh, well, I guess that's a wrap, though, from Baker Square. What a shame, though, to just close it up on a noun like that. I feel bad for the employees. Hopefully they're all doing better. Hopefully. That's a shame. All right, signing off. All right, that's going to wrap up our video here at Baker Square. What a shame that they pulled a Bob Evans on the employees. And a Joe's Crab Shack, for that matter. And a Don Pablo's, because they did that at a Don Pablo's before, I think, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually. Unfortunately, the I one think... in The one that we did in Battle Creek, Michigan. Yeah. That was the one. That's a shame. I feel bad for the employees when something like that happens. I, I know for a fact, you know... I've been working for the body shop that I've been working for for 10 years now. I've been there a long, long time. And it's family run. And I know I would be pretty cheesed if I went into work one day and they say, oh, we're out of business, we're closed. Like that. Now, that's a little bit different because it's family run. This is a big company, though. They just don't give a damn about their employees. Where I work, I know darn well they care about us. And I'm grateful to be there for 10 years now but anyway my point is it just sucks when you do that to your employees these people are rolling around in money and the people that make their company what it is to them they're just disposable they don't care and it's a damn shame but glad we got to put this on video i hope you enjoyed it it looked very cool i, I like i said i don't know why it looked like a denny's but it did though i don't remember them having drive throughs but I hope you enjoyed nevertheless we're gonna take off we're gonna keep rolling around and see what else we find out there in the world of cleveland ohio and wherever else we go yeah guys cleveland ohio not cleveland india i don't know cleveland's pretty popular don't you guys have a cleveland in texas yeah there's a cleveland there's a pittsburgh in texas a cleveland there's a cleveland tennessee there's yeah. a Cle i think there's a cleveland indiana don't quote me on that i think there's one in virginia too and in North Carolina. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put a fun fact thing at the end of the video so you know how many states have a Cleveland in it. Yeah. Alright. We All love right. y'all. <laughs> Let's go yeah. find something fun to do. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Baker Squirrelicious Day? Yeah, okay. We're in Baker territory. Oh, you know what? Here, here's a sick Browns pun since I'm a Steelers fan. Baker Square is putting out as much productivity as Baker Mayfield is for the Browns. Ooh, ouch. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened there. All right, we'll talk to you later. Take care, stay awesome. Have a Baker Square delicious day on Kayla's behalf. Like bye. she just said, bye. bye.